Hey everybody, welcome back to Gray County Grill, and I'm Chris. I apologize that I haven't had a new video out in a while. Christmas was busy, New Year's was busy, but I'm finally getting back into the swing of things. And for my first video of 2019, I'm breaking out the Big Easy. We're going to do some chicken drumsticks, and I'm going to be using the drumstick rack that I got for Christmas. And I think it will turn out awesome. Here are the chicken drumsticks that we're going to be using in the Big Easy tonight. We've got nine of them. Just going to leave the skin on and everything as they are. I was thinking maybe do them as lollipops, but if you've ever done that process, it is a pain in the ass. So I'm not going to do it tonight. And strangely enough, I'm going to be using Bad Byron's, Bad Byron's butt rub which uh, I understand it's usually a pork rub, but there is no sugar in this. And when you're using the Big Easy, you wanna make sure that you don't use any sugar in your rubs or very little sugar anyway, because that is going to burn inside the cooker. So we'll throw on some of this butt rub on the drumsticks. Okay, we're going to let these sit for a little bit, and then we will get the Big Easy fired up. It is absolutely frigid outside today, about minus 10 Celsius and windy as all get out. So we're cooking inside, just inside my garage today. Uh, a lot less wind here, so the Big Easy should stay lit, and we won't have to worry about the cook chamber getting too cold. So I'll start it up right now. Hey, there we go. It is all lit and ready to go. Just gonna get the chicken ready, let her warm up, and then we'll throw it on. The Big Easy has warmed up for a few minutes. So let's put the chicken on. And for this cook, I am going to put the lid on for pretty much the entirety of it. I know I usually say you don't do that, you keep it on or you keep it off until the very end, but with how cold it is, um, I'm worried about the Big Easy holding a decent temperature and these cooking in a decent amount of time. So we're gonna put the lid on and leave it on. Come back and check in maybe 15, 20 minutes and see how they look then. And if I need to take the lid off at that point, then that's what we'll do. Stick around. All right, we're about 20 minutes into the cook right now. And let's pull the lid off to take a look. Yes, that is a hammer that I use. All right, there they are. Well, it looks like they're cooking, I think. I think so. They are looking good. Once they are just about done, I'm gonna take them out. We're gonna slap some sauce on them, put them back in just to set the sauce, and that will be how we finish them off. We're getting close, stick around. Okay, so the drumsticks are about 145 right now, which I think is a perfect time to pull them off and get some sauce on them. We're just gonna use some PC, President's Choice Bacon and Maple Barbecue Sauce. Nothing fancy. I'm not gonna put a whole lot because I don't want it to drip off these and just make, and make a mess of the inside of the Big Easy. So we're just gonna put a little bit of sauce on these right now. Then once this is done, we'll get them back out on the Big Easy. All right, the chicken is all done. We've thrown another 
layer of sauce on it. Oh, it's dripping on the floor. That's what she looks like. So I'm gonna bite in. We'll see how it is. I probably look like a mess, but that was one of the best bites of a chicken drumstick that I've ever had. Oh, that was fantastic. The rub, the seasoning on there, the sauce, nice crispy skin from the Big Easy. Fantastic. Well, thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate that. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, leave me a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button as well and the bell next to it so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.